Hey guys, so it is 9.30 p.m. at night. It's the day before I start my 5 a.m. morning wake up calls every day for the next week because you guys might have seen from my title of this video you would have guessed that already. So this is the first time I'm actually doing a whole week of just waking up at 5 a.m. I have done it in the past on the odd occasions where I'd wake up at say 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. for work but to do it every day for a week is going to be very interesting. I'm a bit nervous about it too because I'm someone who does love to sleep in. My normal time I wake up usually is about 7 to 7.30 a.m. So I've had to counteract this so I'm going to bed earlier to be able to still get my eight hours of sleep a night because I find if I function or anything less I'm just tired just constantly throughout the day. So I thought I'll go bed at 9, 9.30 and to be able to get up at 5am the next day. So I've heard that getting up earlier is actually known to help with productivity so it increases productivity throughout your day because you have more hours in the day so you can get more done. It's also wonderful to get up early because you have that time of just silence before the whole world wakes up basically or your area of the world anyway. It's really peaceful at that hour, there's no traffic there's barely anybody up even the birds aren't up yet it's very quiet and very peaceful that's the thing I'm probably looking forward to most is that just peaceful hour or a couple of hours in the morning where it's just me awake yeah so those are the few of the benefits I've heard of waking up really early I'm sure there are a few others and I'm sure I'll find out through my own results what I find helpful for waking up at 5am I take my hat off to everybody who actually wakes up at 5am every day for work like my heart goes out to you guys that takes a lot of strength because my goodness I would be someone who gets super exhausted doing that day in day out but I've heard you do get used to it after a while so if I did this for more than a week or like two weeks three weeks four weeks maybe I'd adjust and get used to it more but for now I'll stick to the one week and see how we go I might even continue it after this little challenge also being able to watch the sunrise in the morning would honestly be so amazing I haven't watched a sunrise in a while so that'll be really lovely something I'm really looking forward to I love sunrises honestly probably more than sunsets I know it's just something about that hour of the morning where you're watching the sunrise and seeing the world wake up with it Oh, all set for 5 a.m. So we're all good to go now. I've set my alarm for 5 a.m. So I will see you guys in the morning, bright and early, for day one. Woo! Good morning, guys. I just woke up. Oh my gosh, I was like so out of it. I was so tempted just to turn off the alarm and just go back to sleep. I'm up now and I feel more awake now. It's 5 a.m. now, so I'm going to go start my day. I'm going to head off to gym at 5.30, so I'll go get ready for that. And I think I'm going to make myself a tea just to get myself up and going. A bit of water. p.m. at night and I don't know why I still have my glasses on. Whoops. <laughs> They're my blue light blocking glasses. I use them on my, when I'm working on my laptop. Anywho, so it is 7.33 p.m. at night and I can't remember what I last vlogged. I think I vlogged me just working on my computer. I was just doing my editing. I was editing one of my videos for next week so exciting. I thought I'd just give you guys an update on how I'm feeling and how the day went and how it overall just went waking up at 5 a.m. for the first day. I feel like I was really tired this morning waking up. As you guys saw, waking up at 5am, I was like, took me a while to kind of get going. But once I went to gym and did my morning exercise at gym and then came home, I was so wide awake then. But then I sort of had my crash at around 10.30 and from 10.30 to 1.30, I was super tired. Like editing my video, I was like, <laughs> and then for the rest of the day, I've been fine. For productivity wise, I feel like my productivity wasn't super improved today. I think I might pump a lot more things out tomorrow and try and do things a little bit quicker rather than take my time as I did today. That was one thing I really liked about it, was waking up so early I did feel really relaxed. Watching that sunrise while I was working out outside was amazing. But yeah, productivity wise, I basically just finished editing a video just now, but I am planning on being a little bit quicker tomorrow, so I'll try and pump things out a bit faster. I really liked having that extra time just to not 
be so rushed hopefully tomorrow day two will be just as good so it is 9 34 now and i'm heading to bed hopefully i won't be as tired so i'll wake up feeling a bit more refreshed and hopefully my body kind of kicks into it doubtful but hopefully <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the morning good night good morning guys so i wake up much much easier this time i might go make myself a tea or some lemon water or even just have a big glass of water to sort of keep myself awake and get started with my day so i'm gonna get myself ready for the gym again i'll do some reading before i go because i have a bit of time before i head off at 5 30 make use of the morning while i have it all to myself which is really nice can you just hear it it's so yeah, I'm gonna go get myself ready and start my routine off for the morning. So it's currently 7.25, you can see, oh my gosh, it's like the worst lighting for this. I've just made myself a tea, I was drinking like just cold filtered water all morning, I just thought I'd have some tea because I'm a bit cold, and that's probably what you can hear in the background, I'm sitting in front of my heater, just like trying to warm up, oh. It, and this is honestly so good, it just warms me up from the inside out. Waking up and doing my workout almost straight away in the morning has really helped wake me up. I find like after I've come home from my workout and I've gone changed and you guys can even see me. So I found that's been super beneficial, just going into my workout like half an hour after work, waking up. Really, really helpful because then I feel really awake and just alert and ready to go. Roaring to go in the morning. Also, I'm going into the pattern of drinking something as soon as I get up in the morning really helps too because I think the cold water just sort of wakes me up and just gets my digestive system going and that just in turn helps wake me up a bit more but yeah honestly working out best thing to do when you want to wake up or even having like a cold shower I've heard that's really helpful too and super beneficial for your health as well so you got two and one there so I'm going to go do my meditation and then get started on today's work I'm just going to be editing another video today but yeah I just thought I'd let you know that I'm pretty awake it's actually a good morning today I think I'm more awake than I was yesterday so much better yesterday took me a while to sort of wake up but today I'm feeling so much better Hey everyone, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update on how I'm going. It's currently 4.16pm. We can see that on the camera. I felt like for the first part of the day I was really awake and like super alert. But since it hit 3pm and onwards, so till now, I'm feeling just on struggle street. I am feeling it super bad right now. Although I did just have something to eat to help me kind of wake up a bit. And I had some more water because that always helps me feel a bit more awake as well. So I feel like maybe for like the first few hours of the day, so from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 I'm feeling really good then from like 2 30 onwards 2 33 onwards I really feel it and I'm like oh those eyes are starting to shut oh I'm gonna have to get like a Mr. Bean situation going on and, and just use toothpicks to keep my eyes open I feel like I have been able to get more done during the day like for sure like today as well I feel like I finished my videos a lot faster it usually takes me till the evening so being up earlier and getting started earlier I feel like I do have that last bit of the day to use how I please really and I also feel less rushed in the morning I'd also be really interested in knowing what time you guys get up if you get up at 5 a.m. do you find it helps are you more productive So at 7.58 a.m. I just went to the gym before and did a bit of my morning routine. I had a cold shower this morning to help wake me up because I actually felt it so much this morning getting up. I was like so tempted just to turn off my alarm and just go back to bed and go back to sleep. I think it just hit me the third day in. Coming back from gym I was a lot better especially because today was cardio so I was a bit more awake. But having my cold shower I was like right awake after that. Ooh. 
Perverts. I didn't talk this morning just because my sister and her boyfriend were asleep in the other room. So I didn't want to wake them up. And I was pretty productive this morning. I did a bit of cleaning. I read. I did my morning gratitude journaling. And after that, I just went to the gym, did my session, came home, had a shower, had a cold shower. And then made my tea and did my meditation and read a little bit more. I feel like my main problem with doing this is that I'm just not tired at 9.30. So I just sit there in my, like, lying awake for, like, an hour just, like, going over thoughts in my head of, like, things to do and whatnot and it just keeps me awake i think that's because it's just early i'm used to going to bed a bit later like 10 30 11 my body's still adjusting so then again it just means that i'm getting up earlier and i'm just not used to that either so today i'm running about 10 different natural homemade shampoos you guys can make at home i've been testing them out hence why my hair is sopping wet and i'll be so excited to share those with you guys if you guys want to check out the blog post before i do the video feel free to check it out i will link my blog in the description below for you guys and you're welcome to subscribe to that and you'll get updates otherwise yeah i'm gonna go off and Kickstart the rest of my day. Hey, little miss. Hello. Good morning. You're tired too. Oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> this just looks like not even. <laughs> This looks worse. Hey guys, I can't remember what the- oh, the last thing I filmed was just me sitting out the side this morning watching sun rising. It's been a while, I haven't filmed the rest of the day. I think today was probably my most productive day out of everything. I got everything done super early. So I had the afternoon off and I went for a walk, enjoyed the sunny weather we're having because tomorrow it's supposed to be raining. Even just getting up at 5am when it's raining, you just want to like curl up in bed even more on those rainy days. I was just finishing playing Guitar Hero with my family and we were like doing like a band with us so like one was on guitar and when one was singing. So much fun. Anyway I'm going to wrap it up now because it's about 10 past 9 and I want to get like 8 hours sleep which probably won't happen. <laughs> I'll probably lie awake a bit again. Just find it so challenging to get to sleep. I feel like because I'm going to bed so early, it's like manageable. Like I can do this. Whereas if it was like another week where it wasn't quarantine and I was going out to friends' places or having friends stay over at mine or family staying over and we were staying up late, playing games, watching movies, doing games nights or just hanging out and then going to bed at 12 a.m. or going to bed at 1 a.m. This would be so much harder like to then, to then wake up at 5 a.m. the next day. So tomorrow is day four. Woo! I'm almost past the halfway mark. Go us. I'm going to go get ready for bed now. And I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow for day four. Back at it again. It's 8.54 now and I'm pretty happy. I had a pretty productive morning again today. I think yesterday was still my most productive out of the whole day, but today has definitely been my most productive morning. So I basically already gone to the gym this morning as you saw i made some more coffee and i made some more of my body soap for my when i have a shower and things so that was all ready to go oh and we made pancakes as well so fluffy the trick is you put apple cider vinegar in the mixture and it makes it so fluffy it's like oh here they are mm -mm -mm. And we have some caramelized banana on top berry compote and the beautiful pancakes at the bottom the first couple of days they're probably my slowest i felt like i was just taking my time which was good it was nice to slow down for once and just to kind of chill <laughs> but it feels really good to be productive this morning so today's my day off it's thursday today and this is usually my filming day but because it's my sister's birthday which is why we made pancakes as well this morning and we're going to go to the blue mountains today i'm so looking forward to it i love love the blue mountains so yeah i'm going to film tomorrow instead and also i'm going to be having a phone free day as well because i've absolutely loved doing them ever since i did that 24 hours no phone challenge she's a bit scared because of the storm happening outside you might be able to hear the rain there's just a huge lightning strike and then thunder and it scared her because she because she doesn't like storms oh she's come hiding 
I'm trying to get away from it. Oh, little girl. So it's a little bit later in the night. It's about 9 p.m. now and I'm already for bed. I'm just about to head into bed now. Today was so much fun. I had the best time with my sisters and my mum up at the Blue Mountains. We had brunch there, walked around some of the, the gardens that they have up there, one of the Everglade gardens. It was so beautiful, a bit cold, but so beautiful. I had like a vegan burger. Oh, and the best thing was that it actually cleared for us. So the sky became clear and sunny which was so wonderful so we sat outside in the sun for a bit and walked around which was like such a great surprise but I guess you guys can hear now it's like raining outside so <laughs> the rains have come back again I must say today I hit a wall at like mid-afternoon as we were driving home and I was so tired like it took all my energy just to stay awake I imagine the first week's always the hardest as you're adjusting and transitioning to going into early mornings if you're not used to it so I imagine after the first week it gets a little bit easier so I kind of want to keep this up for like two weeks and a month and see if I can get kind of get used to it and get my body to transition over to waking up earlier I am going to get ready for bed now though because I'm so tired I can't wait to go to sleep like this has been like the build-up from 7 p.m. I'm just been like yes it's almost bedtime. I can finally go to sleep. I never thought I'd be that excited to go to sleep, but it turns out it's possible. <laughs> Good night. Good morning, guys. Last night was such a weird night. I kept waking up like every few hours, like every couple hours, because I kept thinking I'd slept through my alarm. I don't know why. It was just like a disturbed night in a way. So I didn't have great sleep, but that's alright. As you can hear, I think I've got like a cold or something brewing. <laughs> From all the early mornings and I think my body's used to it. Yeah, so I just had some supplements and some vitamin C to help kind of kick it before it gets hold of me. So I skipped gym this morning just because I wasn't feeling great. So I'm just gonna go and do some other things instead. So I'm going to do my meditation. Got my gratitude little journal there. And my big plans for the day are just to really film. So I'll film a video for next week. And that's pretty much all I have planned at the moment to do today. Just a side note, how gorgeous are these flowers? My sister got them for her birthday yesterday and they're so pretty and I absolutely love sunflowers. So this literally brightens up the house. It's like the most colour we have in our whole kitchen. It's so nice. Went. I think my last clip was yesterday morning. I got a pre-productive morning. I was like wide awake and then it hit like 10 a.m. And I just felt it so much. Anyway, I was like reading, sitting on the couch and I don't know what happened. But next thing I know and I, I fell asleep. You fell asleep? And I was like, oh my gosh. And I woke up like after an hour. So it was about 11 a.m. And I was like, oh my gosh, I fell asleep. And I think all the mornings have just caught up on me, so, and I'm, I'm still really tired. But this morning I did it, I got up, but yeah, I'm trying not to be too hard on myself because I was tired and I'm still tired. Like, even looking at the camera is a real struggle. <laughs> I think I'm going to make a tea. So, I'm washing my reusable tea bags at the moment, and I don't have an actual tea strainer, like a normal one. So, I'm just going to use this huge mesh strainer to strain my tea. Oh my gosh. It's just so big. <laughs> You know what, I don't think I really thought this through. <laughs> I was supposed to strain it. My gosh, my 5am brain. I'm gonna pour it in the tea and then let it soak in the tea. And then I'm gonna strain it out afterwards. That is good. I'm so tired. I, I'm so tired. <laughs> so, so, so tired. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome to day seven. We've officially made it. Woo! This has been such a fun week. Like, although I have been super tired and I've been sharing that with you guys the whole week, it's actually been super fun. Like, I'd be telling my family, like, yeah, I'm tired, but getting so much done and being up so early before everyone else is, is so nice. I've absolutely loved it. So I'm definitely keeping this going, like, over at least a few days a week, every week, which would be really nice. I don't think I've... Really? Mm-mm. I don't think I filmed much yesterday. I think I filmed a clip or two. It is currently 8 a.m. now and it's actually not raining today. Yay. 
I'm so happy. It means I can go outside and do some things out in the open air. This morning I've pretty much just been doing my meditation and my gratitude journaling. Putting a few things on my laptop so I got quite a lot done this morning. I must say I've really enjoyed these productive mornings. It's so nice to be at 8am and having most of my work done for the morning. I really enjoyed this experiment like waking up before everyone else, before there's traffic on the road. So it's just completely quiet, super peaceful. And the best thing of all is like not feeling rushed. Like I don't think I've felt rushed at all this week it's been so nice i've definitely had some productive mornings at the start it was a little bit slower i was kind of kicking into gear but by the end i feel like for the last four days it's been super productive i'm sure there are people who actually do this every day they get up at 5 a.m for work and it's their norm like they do it every week i even know some people that do this for work they get up at 5 a.m every day and i must say i take my hat off to them that is such like a true proven effort <laughs> every day getting up at 5 a.m wow so respect to anyone who has to get up at 5 a.m. every day. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking out this whole video with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if you want me to do another experiment or challenge like this for like a week or a month. Let me know. It was lots of fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking out this much of the video with me. It means so much to me. And I hope to see you guys in my future videos. Bye.